Hey y'all, Vampire Dracula back again with another how-to video, and in today's video we're going to show you how to install Windows 11 in VMware Player. So, this isn't Workstation, this is just Player, which is the free version that VMware provides. Um, we're going to show you basically how to install Windows 11 for free. We're also going to show you how to bypass the TPM Secure Boot and processor requirements that Windows 11 has. It's actually a pretty simple process, and just follow along and show you how to do it so yeah if you're getting basically this message that you're seeing on the screen right now we're gonna show you how to skip over that and make that work so what I have here is a base install of Windows 10 and the version number is 21 h1 and the OS build is 19043.1237 the only thing I have done besides download the ISO from Microsoft's website is I've updated it to the latest patch level available as of October 7th, 2021. Um, so we're going to need a few things for Windows 11. All the links and everything we discuss um, that you need to get will be in the description below. Uh, first thing you want to do is download the Windows 11 ISO. So we come to this page here. Uh, we want to download the ISO disk image. So we're going to select Windows 11, click download. Should give us another option to choose your language. So pick your language of choice, confirm that, and it should give you a link to download that to your desktop. Once you have that downloaded, uh, check the link below for this GitHub page. It's basically a, a bat file that runs a command and some PowerShell scripting, and this is what makes it possible to bypass the TPM secure boot and processor requirements of Windows 11. So come over here to this page, download the zip file, click that, and download the file and get that onto your desktop. Once you have everything here, we're going to double click the bat file we had. It comes in this folder. Just drag that and drop it over to your desktop here to extract it because it is a zip file. We need to have it unzipped to work with it. Double click it and then inside here you'll see skip TPM check on dynamic update v2. Right click that Hit run as administrator and click yes on the UAC prompt. You'll see the command window open for a brief moment. Well, it runs some commands and then you'll see the PowerShell window open where it runs some commands for a few seconds here. We'll let that do its thing. And that's all there is to that. So now we're gonna update to Windows 11. So double click on the ISO that'll open up this window and double click on setup and click yes on the UAC prompt. That will get Windows 11's set up going. It needs to go online to get some updates and some stuff like that. So just click next, let it do its thing while it gets those updates. Now eventually it'll ask to uh, restart the setup program. So it will do that automatically for you. You might have to come down to the taskbar and click it to make it pop back up. Uh, on this, we'll just accept the licensing agreement, and then it's going to grab even more updates, so we'll let it do its thing there. Okay, Windows 11 has done its update thing, and it is ready to install. We're just going to keep these defaults here and click Install. It'll drop you into this screen where it will begin the installation process for Windows 11. We're going to fast forward through this and I will catch you on the flip side. All right, here we are. Welcome to Windows 11. Let's go ahead and log in here. Hi, how are you, Windows 11? Getting things ready for you. So it looks like it needs to process a few more uh, patches or updates or whatnot and continue the installation here upon initial login. So we will let Windows 11 do its thing. The install process took roughly about 20 to 25 minutes. And here we are, logged into Windows 11. So let's double check the win version. 
We are on version 21 H2. OS build is 22,000.194. So the bypass for the TPM secure boot and processor requirements works. And this is how you install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation 16. So if you found value in this video, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to Vampire Drag Cool. If you liked the video, smash that like button. And in the comments section below, let me know if this worked out for you. Let me know how you're liking Windows 11 in comparison to Windows 10 and the previous versions of Windows. And until next time, keep it real.